Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Aaron from Black Swamp Outdoors, and I've got today a video for you guys and a review on the Sig Sauer P322 holster. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so like I said before, this is the Sig Sauer holster for the P322 pistol and the P322 pistol only. This is specifically di designed for that pistol and nothing else. This is an ambidextrous holster and also features two different carry options inside the waistband and outside the waistband being convertible. So it ships to you in this cardboard and clear plastic box, uh, Sig Sauer genuine parts goes on to say a little bit of information there on the bottom of it made in israel and some warnings stuff like that so let's open it up and check it out all right guys now like i said this is exactly how it ships to you from sig sour i bought mine from sig sour not any sort of store not amazon this is from sig sour so you've got your holster body and then a bunch of junk that falls out of the box all right so you've got the holster body here and it does seem to be of pretty nice quality You've got belt loop attachments for outside the waistband carry, and you've got belt loop attachments for inside the waistband carry. And you also get an Allen wrench. Now I know the uh, holster options for the SIG P322 are kind of limited at this time, and I'm just gonna go ahead and be straight up, and I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts about this holster, and that is, is that it's kind of chintzy. So this isn't a super expensive holster. I mean, it comes in at $29.99, but by the time you buy it from Sig Sauer, if you can't find it anywhere near you at a local retailer, you're looking at $43 once it's shipped and you pay your tax. So, I mean, then you are working with, you're working with 40 to 50 bucks. So 50 bucks is a good chunk of money these days. So let's start with the holster body. Like I said, it does feel pretty stout. Um, the Adjustment key here, the Allen key, is for adjusting the tension on your holster here, or the retention, I should say. And I've got mine set to where I like it. So we're going to go ahead and take the P322 here, demonstrate that it is a clear firearm. And we're going to go ahead and put that in the holster, just to give you a little idea of how it retains. And it does with a nice audible click. And it also comes out with a nice click. It is in there. It's not going to come out very easily. So the holster body isn't where I really have the issue. As I said, it seems to be pretty nice. And it does allow enough room. As you can see here, I've got the uh, Sealy Cat on top of the P322. Go ahead and check the video out that we did on that. That's a pretty neat little optic, especially for an application like this Rimfire P322. Well, let's get rid of the body and let's get on to the issue. So my issue with this holster is this, how it attaches to your belt. A pretty important part for a holster, right? Well, that's what I thought too. Evidently Sig Sauer didn't. So these little adapters are supposed to clip onto the side of the holster, which it doesn't really show you that in the picture. The website's description is fairly vague and I didn't realize that it came with two different sets of clips i thought maybe it was just these that you either twist it around and you could run it on the other side being ambidextrous and convertible but it does ship with two different clips so now you know okay so right now i've got the holster set up for owb carry which is how i intended to use it they are clipped on just check this out once That's how easy those things fall off. Now, when I got this out of the box the first time and I tried to put it on my belt, I had a heck of a time. Nothing wanted to line up. I have a leather belt. It's a two-ply concealed carry belt, but it's not the thickest belt in the world. But it was pretty darn tight on these belt loops. You almost need a, set, a third set of hands to try to figure out how to get this on your belt. Because by the time that you have these on there and they're so loose-fitting on the body of the holster... That by the time you try to hold this, hold that, put your belt through here, once your belt's through the first one, get it through the second one, hold this, hold that, it, it's just a mess. There's nothing quick about getting this holster on or off. And one time while practice drawing with the P322, I did indeed, it was on my belt, 
I did indeed have separation of the body and the belt clips. I was left with the belt clips on my belt. So if walking around on a hike or out working on the farm or the homestead and possibly losing your pistol, the whole body itself just falling off these clips wasn't bad enough, maybe you'd want to concealed carry it. Well, let's talk about that. So here we have the holster in the concealed carry configuration, or IWB, inside the waistband. But as you can see, these fit much tighter on this configuration. They're not perfect, but they do fit tighter than the OWB carry. But it is a slightly strange array of kind of how this is set up. So this has to go over your pants. Obviously, this would be inside your waistline. Your waistline of your pants needs to fit here, and then your belt goes over the front here and clips into these loops. It's a bit awkward to get set up. Mind you, I wouldn't even be really interested in carrying this IWB. Uh, firearm aside, we're not talking about that being a viable concealed carry option right now. We're talking about the holster, but it's just not, it's just not, I don't know, it's just not there for me. I don't like the fact that these just pop off like that, and they're so easy to pop off. Now, like I said, the concealed carry ones are stiffer than the OWB, but, I mean, this is just... You put these things on, and they literally fall off. There it goes. Now, I reached out to SIG about this issue, and that was about two weeks ago, and I've heard nothing in response, so... Take that for what you will. But overall, a very disappointing experience with this SIG holster. I'm a big SIG Sour guy. I really like their products. I really like their firearms. And I've never had anything that falls short on what I would uh, think to be SIG Sour quality before up until now. Well, like I said, it is a, after I was all said and done, a $40, $50 holster. And I'm going to continue to use it. But I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and modify this somehow and i don't know if i'm going to use some sort of adhesive or something on these to go ahead and make that a lot stiffer uh because outside the waistband carry is kind of how i wanted to carry this but just not uh necessarily with this holster now sig sour does offer one other alternative for a holster for the p322 and it's a paddle type owb but it's also double the price of this and uh, at the time i just didn't want to spend that type of money on a holster for my uh, P322. I can't attest to the quality of that piece, but if it's anything similar to this, I don't know. Uh, it just kind of bums me out. But holster options are a little slim for the P322, unless you're going to have something custom made through somebody or a Kydex guy that custom makes them or a leather guy that custom makes them. Uh, you're kind of limited to a few different holster options, this being one of them. And overall, would I recommend it at this point? No, not necessarily but maybe I just got a bad one. Or if you want a budget holster option that does, I mean, it does hold your gun on your hip, sort of, sometimes. I might come up with some sort of mod for this in the future, and maybe I'll make a video and uh, kind of see about improving that. But it's just it's just poor, poor craftsmanship on part of the manufacturer or part of R&D with Sig Sauer. I'm not sure which one it might be. And again, maybe I just got a bad one. But it would have been nice to at least be able to talk to someone at Sig um, and I sent them a nicely worded email that described the problem and it would have been nice to, well, there it goes. It would have been nice to at least talk to someone at SIG and see, maybe I did get a bad one. Maybe I could get another one shipped out or try the paddle holster or something like that, but I just got no response. All right, folks. Well, that wraps it up for the P322 SIG Sour holster. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it shed a little bit of light on things for you guys. Maybe if this is something you're interested in, like I said, Holster options are slim for the P322, but this is one, and it does work, so I suppose. I'd like to thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, we appreciate you guys. We'll see you later.